Hello teachers and welcome to Chris Foster's tutorial. Today I will be instructing you how to use the Edpuzzle educational app, which I have found is a great resource for teachers. Although there are some excellent resources on the Learn Alberta website, I've, I've found Edpuzzle to be the best for teachers in terms of keeping track of your students' progress. It is also a great interactive way of communicating the content with students. This app allows you to crop and edit videos from the internet. There's many other apps there that allow you to crop videos or maybe to edit videos, but not to do both and to add quizzes and to add photos and, and, uh, and to share and, and everything together. So you can add them onto your online Edpuzzle classroom as review for the students with your own personal quiz, comments, links, photos, or audio notes. This app can be used from all the way from kindergarten students to university students. It is absolutely free. Today I'm going to illustrate how to crop and edit a video on Edpuzzle and upload it for students. I'm going to look at the grade 5 science curriculum and making a video based on learner outcomes. Alright, so if we can go to the Learn Alberta website like this, uh, learnalberta.ca, choose your language, English. On the top here, you're going to find the, the tab Programs of Study. Click on that. Core Programs, we're going to look at Science. We're going to find gra uh, Grades 1 to 6 right here, Science. Narrow it down to Grade 5. And then we're going to find Topic D, Weather Watch. Look at all the outcomes. Here, Number 8 is what we're going to focus on. Identifying Common Types of Clouds. And we're going to look at the C. Okay, now from here, New Tab and go to edpuzzle.com alright you're gonna be you're gonna find this page you start off as a teacher and you go top right log in now you're gonna have to make your own account I already have mine so I just click log in and here's my classroom I'm gonna click search we're gonna look for here's a great educational videos uh, we're gonna click on YouTube here and find all about clouds for kids from here I'm gonna choose this video because I I've already watched it and I know this is the one I want to use but you might have to search for a little bit from here I can click use it now this part is great because many of the times we want to crop videos because a lot of the video is a waste but we can't so here we can crop the video now because I know that I want to talk about cirrus clouds and I know that's from 158 until uh, 222 that's where I'm going to crop the video at. Next click on the second tab here that says audio track. So I'll have your video cropped and here you can replace a sound of the video with your own voice by pressing the mic button besides the play button. You have to use your own voice over the entire video. Today we will not add any audio track. But if you want to, you just press this. You say your voice, da 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 da, continue. And you'll have to do it for the whole time, but you can stop, edit it, um, remove the last recording, do whatever you want with it. Now we're gonna move to audio notes. So click on that tab there. At any point in the video, you can stop and add a side note. Maybe you want the kids to pay careful attention to a certain part of the video or you want to clarify something. It is great for the kids to hear your voice as they will be about three times more attentive when they hear a familiar, familiar voice. Let's try. Cirrus clouds are high and thin. Because the air is so cold at high altitudes, these clouds are made of ice crystals instead of water droplets. Okay kids, make sure you know that they're made of ice crystals and not water. Now I can look at this note. I can review it. Okay kids, make sure you know that they're made of ice crystals and not water. And I can choose to either delete it or to keep it. Today I like my I like my audio notes, so I will keep it. You can add as many as you want throughout the video. As the kids watch it, it will freeze the video. It'll go to your audio note and then it will continue. Okay, great. Now let's move on to quizzes, the next part. 
Okay, from here you can add a comment at any point in the video. You can add a comment here by pressing this and say, watch carefully. Oh, watch carefully. Save. Okay, so that's what they will receive. I can also make a comment. Oh, because freeze. Make a comment. And I can ask a question, open ended question that they can just respond to. What did you think about the video? Or at the end of the at the end of the um, the video, I can add a little quiz with right or wrong questions. What are Cirrus clouds made of? So the right answer would be ice crystals. The wrong answer would be water droplets. I could add as many as I want here. You can also add uh, up here, you can insert uh, images or URLs or even videos uh, here. Uh, so there's so many different options. After you're done this you, uh, and you're content with it, you can save and finish. Here you can prevent the kids from skipping any part of the video if you would like which I do, I want them to watch the entire video. I can also add a due date. I want them to watch this video by Friday, the 4th of March. And you can choose the time as well. So send. So now my whole will receive this video. And as a teacher, I'm able to access any questions they have. I can mark their open-ended questions and view how many times a student watched a certain part of the video. Uh, I have found Edpuzzle is an excellent educational resource for me to use because it helps my students to interact more with the content and I'm able to keep the students more accountable to stay on top of their studies because it is so interactive. The students are much more willing to spend the time watching the video home paper assignments. Thank you for watching my tutorial and I hope you too will discover the effectiveness of the Edpuzzle app.